and welcome back to Mega Reacts. Today we're going to be watching the Babylon 5 movie in the beginning. I really don't know what this movie is about or what it sets up. I just know I was supposed to watch it between season four and season five. And here I am watching the movie. We'll see what it has. We'll see what it says. We'll see what it does. I, I don't know what else to say, so let's just get into it. But before we do, come on this journey with me. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Patreon link in the description below. This is Mega. Let's get into it. It is said that in every age, there is one singular event Hello, that ever changes the world around us. A nexus, if you will. This is the Earth Membari War. It is said that the future is always born in pain. Your car, my man. The history of war is the history of pain. Yes. But in the pain of that war, a future was born. A future that would one day have a name whispered on a hundred worlds. Babylon 5? A final refuge for dreams. But our last, best oh, hope. For peace? peace? Yeah, Babylon 5, baby. Babylon 5. In the beginning. And this was made to get people into Babylon 5 when the show went to TNT, right? Kind of bring people in. Centauri Prime, homeworld of the Centauri Republic. See some Londo? Or is this... Yeah, this is the future, right? Or is it the past? I think it's the future. Londo is emperor, controlled by a little... little creature on his shoulder. This is the emperor's window, Luke. He's the only one who can look out of the palace. That's why we can't stay. We have to go before. Oh, no. It's all right. Been a long time since I heard the sound of laughter in this room. Man, how the great the Londo has fallen. Gives me great sadness to see him this way. Are you really the emperor? I sometimes ask myself the same thing. Yes, I am the emperor. Yeah, you see? This is the seal of the Centauri Republic. Only the Emperor can wear it. For the next five minutes, you are the Emperor of what was once the vast Centauri Republic. <laughs> now what do you, you do? give one order, any order you desire. Make it a good one. What do you want? Tell me a story. That sounds like some shadow shit. It's all right. He did far better with that question than I did. Yes. What kind of story would you like to hear? I want a story about great battles and wars and bravery and heroes and villains. I see. Okay. That's a good story. You see, I was there at the dawn of the Third Age. It began with the humans, you know. They are the, the quiet ones I mentioned before. <laughs> the one that changed the they world. They changed the universe. Yeah. But in doing so, paid a terrible price. They have an expression. Pride goeth before a fall. And their pride was their undoing. I know that expression. Yeah, the pride that I made know. them fire on Ducat's ship. I was there. And now, gentlemen, perhaps you will tell me why you have arranged for this meeting. Of course. General. Following our victory against the Dilgar, we've taken advantage of the goodwill of other worlds to expand our sphere of influence. Most of the races have been very receptive to our advances, others downright hostile, and a few are still a mystery to us. Mimbari? What do you know about a race called Mimbari? Oh, yeah. Leave them alone. We've had some dealings with them in the past, but nothing in recent years. Why? We're going to send an expedition to their border to see if they pose a threat to our program to expand our sphere of influence. Then send one ship. One ship only. Anything more could be perceived as a threat. And if that were to happen, well, I assure you, they would never return home. We took care of the Dilgar. We can take care of the Minbari. The Dilgar ain't the Minbari. Oh, arrogance and stupidity all in the same package. <laughs> How efficient of you. Good luck with your mission, gentlemen. 
I only hope that in your stumbling around, you do not wake the dragon. Good day. Oh, they woke the dragon. They woke the dragon, son. And only by the they grace listen. of the one arrogant men never do. was humanity not annihilated. Sadly, arrogance has never been exclusively a human trait. Thank you for coming, Kalia. I'm honored that you should travel so far. It is the least I can do for the honored leader of the Anla Shock. Did you pass on my request for more support? I did. It was considered and rejected. Then I demand to speak with the Grey Council. Lenan. It is my right as leader of the Anla Shock. I demand to see them and make my case personally. If you go over the heads of the elders, you risk offending them. I don't care. And let them be. I don't care. Offended. I want to talk to the council, damn it. You operate here at our sufferance, Lenan. If you force the issue, the rangers may pay the price. What's up, old dude? Ranger, they gonna assassinate you? What's up? Some sort of shenanigans. Oh, they come to get you. Have you come from the Grey Council? Yes. Follow us. Wait. I want to speak with you. Where's he having a vision? Oh, a ship? A ship? They come to get you? We're being beamed up. <laughs> Scotty. Someone calls Miles O'Brien. Best transporter in the whole damn universe. Trans the best transporter operator. Well, Linan, you said you wish to speak with us. Do God. Step into the circle and speak. Glad we get to see him so again. There's going to be a battle. Excuse me? You said there's going to be a great battle in your story. You could be quiet. No, no, it's all right. Why am I getting the Princess Bride vibes for some reason? <laughs> it kind of it, it has that feel. And that is... That is not a bad thing. That is not a bad thing. I dig it. The young do not understand that in war there is death. You want to battle, hmm? Would it help to tell you that these two isolated incidents would lead to the greatest war in human history? Yes. Many Mimbare would die in the war, but before its end, Earth herself would stand on the very edge of complete destruction. Yes, on the edge. And the iron ears. No mercy. The terrible. The terrible truth that no one knows but that I will tell you is that the blood of many who died in that war is on my hands. Really? My fault. Really? Did you not tell him about the cannons open, gun ports open thing? Master. Delin? Hey, girl. If I may, there may be a way to give the others the proof they require. Delin is not formally a part of this council. Though she stands in for Satai Kodroni, she has not yet undergone the ritual. I have never yet known the truth or Dylan to speak only when it is appropriate. Go on, Dylan. Balin said that the shadows would first return to their homeworld of Zahadum before moving against us. So why not send an expedition to Zahadum to determine if they have indeed returned? So you believe it too dangerous for the warrior cast to go? <laughs> is nothing. Really? Sounds like you're afraid. But it is a waste of our time. I agree. So they will not have to go. Send the rangers? Who are we sending? Thank you. We will go. Ah, what? they will go. But master, we are the ones who must decide how much support to give the rangers. We can rely on the reports of others or see for ourselves. My whole life. 
I've heard of Sahadum in whispers, and legends. I wish to see it. I think I'd like to see it. I like you, Ducat. I like. Wouldn't you do that? I like the jib of your cut. Whatever the hell that saying is, I like it. He talking to a Vorlon? Is there a Vorlon in there? Where in the fuck's my Vorlon at? Is that him and yeah, I see him. Gosh. No, it starts. Yes. It's been a long time, Kosh. It's good to have you back, buddy. Can I ask which ship is leading the expedition? The Prometheus. Captain Jankowski lost his XO to the Churchill a couple of weeks ago and has been looking for a replacement. You would fit in perfectly. I know some of the officers who have served under him. He doesn't handle first contact situations as well as others. Ever since the Omega incident... The military tribunal cleared him of all responsibility for what happened. The Omega incident? Yes, I understand that. But if I can speak... Oh, frankly, he's gun happy. Dismissed. Yes, sir. Wonder what would have been if he'd have took that post... Who knows how history could have been changed. Excuse me. Did you just pilot in that transport? Yes. It is dangerous to deliver cargo while in hyperspace. Why did your crew take such an unusual risk? I do not ask questions. I only follow orders. Whose orders? I'm told they came from Ducat himself. The deliveries must not attract undue attention from outsiders. But why the secrecy? I don't know. No. I just told you. I just Once follow orders. We are given a different rendezvous point. We wait and a ship arrives. Are you reconsidering the invitation to join the Grey Council? No, of course not. How could you even ask such a Because a member of the Grey Council wouldn't bother herself with such trivial details as cargo shipments and transports, would she? No, Master. Of course not. Except when it may involve larger issues. I was only thinking of what you said earlier and remembering that from time to time, aliens have come to us pretending to be Vorlons. Since no one alive has ever seen them, it's easy to be deceived. Are you saying I'm being deceived? I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I did not say anything then, and I'm not saying anything now. Unless you are saying... I love the land. You've seen a Vorlon. I love her so much. I'm saying even less than you. Approach the next rendezvous point. There's our very good. Our trigger happy captain. Prepare to jump to normal space. Navigation, prepare to jump. Roger that bridge. Jump engine standing by at your command. Will you follow me into fire? Will you follow me into darkness? Will you follow me into death? Yes. I will. I'll follow you anywhere, Ducat. I follow. Follow me into the porthole of despair, where we will do hallucinogenics and learn the secrets of the future. Captain, our orders were to avoid any first contact situation unless authorized to do so. I'm well aware of our orders, Commander. We do this right, they're not even going to know we're here. You don't even know their tech, so how can you say that? Idiot. I am become gray. I stand between the darkness. And the light. And between the candle. And the star. You are the child of Valen. Bring us in closer. I want as much information as we can get. Sir, our orders are to avoid- Our orders are to bring back information on the Minbari, and that's just what we're gonna do. Now, if we can bring back a profile on one of their warships, they're gonna be handing out medals by the bucket. Now, we handle the Dill Guard, we can handle a few stray ships. Now, bring us in Hubris, closer. pride, yes, arrogance, humanity. There may be alien ships on approach. I've told them to go to maximum power on the scanners so we can verify. There's no reason to concern Ducat with it until we know more. They've seen us. All right, let's get it out of here. Prepare to jump. Jump engine's not responding. What? Alien scanner rays interfering with our electrical systems. They drew us in deliberately. 
Oh, you're... Wanted to get us in range of their scanners so they could shut us down. You're paranoid. Sir, you said you wanted to get as much information on the enemy ships as possible. What if they want to capture our ships for the exact same reason? Go to Red Alert. Try to open up a channel. Tell them we mean no harm. We detected these alien ships approaching our space. I've never seen those markings before. Who are they? Humans. I believe they're the humans. Yes. They've tried to contact us, but we do not understand their language. Sir, alien ships have opened gun ports. Are they prepared to fire? I don't know. I can't tell. Weapons hot. Weapons hot. Fire it will. I repeat. Fire. Fire. Yeah. Hey. Hey. There was Arthur. My man. The death of Ducat. The start of the war. No mercy. All right. Get us the hell out of here. Hit them and then ran like cowards. Oh mercy. Strike them down. Follow them to the base and, and kill them all of them. All of them. No mercy. No mercy. The battle cry. Yeah. Mankind wasn't ready, son. The incident you have just seen has been repeated at half a dozen bases in just the last few days. We need a victory against these forces, any victory to increase morale. I drop in nukes. And two, <laughs> that unless we find a way to defeat them in Bari, the human race ends with the current generation. Dismissed. Londo warns you. Any ship that comes up against them loses. I've never believed in the idea of an undefeatable enemy, sir. Any ship can be destroyed. Sound like Kirk. I hope the hell you're right. Attention, attention on deck. Ganya, Ganya Ivanov, you've got a visitor in room seven. You've got five minutes. Get to it, we've got the launch. Who in the hell's this guy? Susan. Susan's brother! What are you doing here? That died and made her join. Well, you know me, never where I'm supposed to be. I just... Wanted to see you. Hate the haircut, girl. Here, take this. For good luck. I won't wear it again until you come back. Until you give it back to me. That way, we know you'll come back. Spoiler alert. He don't come back. <laughs> Spoiler alert. You've all already seen the whole damn show. What am I talking about? I'm the noob here. We're not asking the Centauri government to intervene militarily. We know that won't happen. We're talking tactical and strategic support. Just and weapons. Nope. Nope. We ain't getting involved. We'll pay any price. Yes. And then we will pay the price when the Mimbari come after us for helping you. I have always been very fond of humans, but we cannot risk angering the Mimbari. There is nothing I can do. Well, I refused to help, just as you said he would. <laughs> the Centauri care for no one but themselves. They would sooner see your world in flames than lift a finger to help. How much can you sell us? As much as you can afford. And none of that tech even mattered. <laughs> because the Mimbari are badass. Especially when they're in a vengeful, blind rage. I should think you would be more pleased by the progress of the war. What pleasure can be found in beating an enemy that never had the slightest chance of defeating us? This is simple retribution. This has gone beyond retribution, Moran. This is madness. It is genocide. Madness? Yes, it is. This is Sparta. It is easier to fight a weaker opponent and be guaranteed victory than to oppose a far more dangerous enemy. This ranger Are knows. back on the shadows again? They will come. And soon. Legends. Nothing more. Sometimes I wonder where your loyalty really is. You dare? Or is it simpler just to be a coward? Moran, get out! I was simply... I said get out! 
I made arrangements to transfer all of Ducat's belongings to this ship. I brought everything that was his, Delaine. I even recreated his sanctum. Only you and I have access for now. I think you should go there, Delaine. And there's a Vorlon. I, are you, are you a Vorlon? Yes. Oh, we got both of them. Kosh and evil Kosh. What, what is your name? Kosh. If you're seeing this message, it is because I am dead. I leave this in trust of the Vorlons to give it to the right person at the right time. I ask you to trust him as I have. If we have not already done so by now, it is my hope that you will work with the Vorlons to find these humans and bring them into the battle on our side. <laughs> <laughs> the allies of the shadows are gathering. The humans we're uh, exterminating. The masters cannot be far behind. The humans. Yes, they are the key. He didn't know. He couldn't know that we had war with them. Looks like Earth. Earth. I think Earth. In the worst cases of radiation. Hey, Franklin. Will be brought here for treatment. I just got this report about your activities where you rejoined Earth Force. It says here you spent three years hitchhiking on starships, trading your services as ship's doctor for free passage. That's right. And during that time, you encountered a group of Mimbari off Bedrana. Now, I know you, Franklin. You weren't out there sightseeing. You were gathering medical data. Was there an autopsy? Yes. And did you or did you not collect detailed information about their DNA, their biology? But I will not give it to you for war. Be of vital importance to the biogenetic warfare division. Yes, I did. And where are those notes? Destroyed. Sir, I am a doctor. My job is to save lives. In my opinion, I, I don't give a rat's ass about your opinion, mister. I want those notes. I can't do that. Damn it, mister. I am sorry, General. I am a doctor. I cannot allow my notes to be used in the production of weapons of war. Now, under the military code of justice, you can't. Don't you talk to you me. You cannot about the military force code, me to go against my conscience. Security! Dr. Franklin's under arrest. <laughs> From now on out, the blood of every soldier that dies in this war. It's on your hands. That's some bullshit. It's on the military's hands. It's on the government's hands. It's on that asshole captain's hands. Launch bay, this is the captain. Launch solo fighter. I want that transport followed. Found of his brother, yeah, maybe? Head start on Eagle 7. Roger that. Max yes. Keep moving this in. Sir, I don't like it. Before the transport flamed out, it fired its forward thrusters, cutting acceleration down to almost nothing. Now, if I were running from the enemy, engines failing, I'd try to keep my inertia going on the off chance I could get away. Yes. Not just lying there yes. waiting to get caught. It's a trap. Or maybe he wants to be captured alive, rather than take his chance on getting killed in that asteroid field. Or maybe they want us in a precise, predetermined location. Captain, their jump engines are a lot more precise than ours. They can target an area of less than 100 yards. If they jump into the middle of us, holy. This is fleet command. All ships break off. I mean, fleet break off. Our intelligence reports indicate that the humans have made a deal with the Narns to buy weapons. Through the Narns, we can arrange a meeting in neutral territory. The danger is great. To live is to risk. To live is to risk. I will instruct my rangers to write that to shit make down. contact with the Narn government and set things in motion. Sensory operational. Bridged engine room. Do we have any power yet? Negative, sir. Communications. Sir, can we contact Earth? Send a distress signal. It's possible. But, sir? That Mimbori crew's only left because it figured we were dead. If we send a distress signal, it'll come back. It'll come back and finish. Yeah, it will. If we sit here, well, let's lay a trap. Nothing, we're just as dead. Firing control. Do we have any tactical nukes left? Affirmative. Three two megaton warheads with proximity fuses. All right. I'm authorizing use of tactical nukes. Firing control. Remove their warheads. Get them down to launching bay nine ASAP. Communications. Stand by to broadcast distress signal, but not until I give the order. I said. That would be 
Less than honest if I said I was sure this was going to work. It might, <laughs> it might not. It might blow us all it up. Could very well blow up right alongside the enemy. Yeah. But at least we will have a fighting chance of taking them out with us. Unless anyone else has a better idea. No, sir. Let's do it. I do love that a lot of people on his ship right. are like really young. It just shows plan. like they're putting everyone they have in this. Cause well, I didn't want to live forever anyway. <laughs> yeah, because humanity is on the brink of death, man. Detonate nukes. No. She's out of range of nuke two. Only one left. See you in hell. We got one. <laughs> they got a thousand of ours. We got one of theirs. Maybe we'll see Sinclair in this. Commander Sheridan. Maybe. Car. Maybe. He's with the Narn regime, which has agreed to sell us weapons to help equalize the battle. He's also here to make arrangements for a covert mission. We've heard that certain elements of their government want a meeting to discuss finding a way out of this war that doesn't involve the annihilation of Earth. Most progressive of them. <laughs> it could also be a trick. <laughs> we want you to make contact because you've shown nice. you can handle yourself against them if things get hot. Your record on first contact protocol is outstanding. Anyone else on my team? Just one. Garibaldi? Franklin? Who do we got? Commander Sheridan? Franklin! Dr. Stephen Franklin. You volunteered? Uh, no. Well, I didn't have that much of a choice. <laughs> it's the only way to get out of prison. The only way I could get out of the stockade. Yeah. Long story. Tell you later. And if the only way out is for Earth to surrender? Officially, that's up to the negotiators. Those are my orders. Unofficially? We're losing this war, John. And if the only way the human race can survive is to surrender, then we will surrender. Orders. We all have our orders. That is something you don't understand yet. My orders were to prevent the Nans from using the war to establish closer ties with the humans. Oh, what did you do, Londo? When spies learned of the Nan mission to the Epsilon system, we assumed it was an armed shipment. We didn't know. We couldn't know that it was an attempt to end the war. Oh, shit. No it's wonder like it never order, happened this way. Great make of the Blew up the ship, didn't you? Just a sec. We need to find the power supply. Where the hell are we, Hoth? I just hope the solar I, batteries are still working. I'm not a fan of Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> but I still know the jokes. I speak to you for them. We must find a way to resolve this so that many more of your people not get killed. We... Yes? Your car. A ship is coming through the jump gate. You have a reading on it? Fucking Londo. <laughs> they never knew who had attacked them. Each side assumed it was a renegade arm of their own government. But it was us, and it was my order that destroyed their last chance for peace. Guessing the ranger died. <laughs> Because we never see him again. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Oh, is he? Not good. Listen, carefully. It would be exactly. What? What? What did he say? Couldn't leave a note on the body? Hey. Human here, not us. Sorry, we still want peace. <laughs> Shit happens. Hey, I have a message. I said I have a message. 
I know what's in Dukat's sacred place. I know what's in Dukat's sacred place. I know what's in Dukat's sacred place. Stop! What is in Dukat's sacred place? It seems uh it seems uh let them go. She does. It's the time. I said let them go. There's been enough death today. This is uh what is that? The future. Is that the end of the story? It's still the end. That was the no. beginning. No, not the end. <laughs> name of the name of the movie. No, not the end at all. The beginning. The greatest slaughter of all. Say it. And it changed everything. Everything. This has been a great fucking movie, by the way. Holy shit. In my life, I had four wives. I cared for them all deeply. But I loved Centauri Prime. Loved every street, every town. He had four wives. I only know of three. Is there another wife? I know he had another Centauri woman he loved that was killed by the shadows. She was never a wife. Maybe he viewed her as a wife, or there's a wife to come? Maybe? Where? Where was I? Yes. The war. The humans, I think, knew they were doomed. Where another race would surrender to despair, the humans fought back with even greater strength. They made the Mimbare fight for every inch of space. In my life, I have never seen anything like it. That's how we roll. That's how we humans roll. We don't give a shit. They would weep. They would pray. They would say goodbye to their loved ones. And then throw themselves, without fear or hesitation, to the very face of death itself. No one who saw them fighting against the inevitable could help but be moved to tears by their courage. Stubborn nobility. Stubborn nobility. What a wonderful view of the human race. <laughs> maybe, when they ran out of ships, they used maybe guns. one day. When they ran out of guns, they used knives and sticks and bare hands. They were magnificent. I only hope that when it is my time, I may die with half as much dignity as I saw in their eyes at the end. This is, the, this is the president. Battle of the line. I've just been informed that our mid-range military bases at Beta Durrani and Proxima Three have fallen to the Mimbari advance. We have continued to broadcast our surrender and a plea for mercy. And they have not responded. In order to buy more time, for our evacuation transports to leave Earth. We ask for the support of every ship capable of fighting. We do not believe that survival is a possibility. I'm ready. We Let's go. That anyone who joins this battle will never come home. There will be no home if you don't try. But for every 10 minutes, we can delay the military advance. Several hundred more civilians may have a chance to escape to neutral territory. No greater sacrifice has ever been asked of a people, but I ask you now to step forward one last time, one last battle to hold the line against the night. May God go with you all. We didn't get all dressed up for nothing. Now let's go. The Great Council should be assembled to see the end of our great campaign. What glory is there in eliminating an entire race, Kaplan? Not as much as in the beginning. There it is. Tell me. Tell me what to do.
They got nothing for you. You need to capture a man called Sinclair, bring him in, realize he is... The truth points to itself. Oh, we're getting something. What? The truth points to itself. Damn, mem. Damn, sin. Not sin. Damn, Vorlon. <laughs> I, uh, went through like three different races before I got it right. Damn, Vorlons and their mysterious answers. Kick ass armor. Picking up enemy transmissions. Stay in formation. Hold the line. No one gets through. No I matter what. I knew that Understood. voice, baby. Alpha leader, you have a memory on your tail. Oh, we'd love seeing Sinclair, baby. Oh my god. Look at all those jump points. Holy shit. Lights up the thing, don't he? That Membari soul. The luminary confirms it. The human has a Membari soul. And not just a Membari soul, a soul of Balin. I still can't believe it. But the triluminary is our most holy relic. Cannot be questioned. Minbari, do not kill Minbari. It is our greatest law. Tell the ships to stop firing. Tell them, Kovan. Tell them now. For the next 10 years, one question would obsess a hundred worlds. Why did the Vorlon, not the Vorlon, Jesus. Did Why did the Membari surrender? The the Jesus Nine. Christ. Vorlons, Membari, Centauri, Victory. Narn, humans. The answer to that question would change the galaxy forever. What happened when they found out? That is another story. Is another story. <laughs> I knew it, time. you old bastard. Today, the Senate has approved funding to begin construction on the Babylon Station, located in neutral space between several major Babylon governments. Babylon 1, then Together Babylon 2, on the then Babylon 3, then Babylon 4, as a result of a terrible, and then Babylon 5. Terrible mistake. It is, we believe, our last, our last best, best chance. Hope for peace. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it blew up. But like all good things, Took them a while to work it all out. Fifth time's the charm. There, you have your story. I would love to walk with you on a beach. Somewhere. For just five minutes. But my master How does not like the sun. To have come so far and to want so little. What about Sheridan and Lynn? What about the end of the story? Sheridan became president of a great alliance. The Lynn ever at his side. The story is not over yet. <laughs> Did they live happily ever after? Lisa. Did they live happily ever after? He speaks. That remains to be seen. I need another bottle. I need several more bottles. Oh, yeah. And then... Wait one hour. Bring me the prisoners. And bring the prisoners yes. here. Yes, yes, this is right before that one flash forward. Love it. Just telling that story maybe gave him, one last moment you know, before. the power, the strength to do what he's going to do. I accepted this fate a long time ago. To the future. To the my old friend. For the future. And out to the burning Centauri world. Londo alone in his prison. That was fucking great. I'll be right back with you. That was Babylon 5 in the beginning. That was a great movie.
That was so good. It's got Londo doing the narration, the structure of him telling the tale to these children of things that we kind of know, but we don't know the whole story and getting things filled in, seeing the past, seeing how we got to the place we are now, getting little, little, little tidbits of information we can use going into season five with with the different things we know are that are due to come to pass getting to getting just getting to see these characters that we love in different situations seeing seeing franklin when when he refused to help create bio weapons against the the mimbari and and seeing Ivanova before she joins, talking to her brother, which we know his death is why she really became who she became. Seeing Sinclair again. God, I love Sinclair so much. And Londo, Londo prolonged the war through his actions, and no one even knows that they were close to peace so early on, and it was destroyed. And Jakar, Jakar has known Sheridan a long ass time. I didn't realize how far they go back. Now, has it always been that way or was it just for the movie? I don't know. But you know what? I don't really fucking care because this this movie was really good. I get why people say this is their favorite Babylon 5 movie because out of the ones I've seen, 100%, this has been the best one. Uh, the structure, the acting, the writing, the visual. So a couple of the green screen, blue screen effects, a little rough. Is fine because it made up for it with just the presence of these characters. God damn, that was good. That was good. I am hyped to get into season five now, son. Uh, is there anything else really to say? I mean, you know how good this was. You've seen it. I just saw it. And I, and I do love that it ends right before Lando brings Sheridan and Delenn in there to see the creature controlling him to let them go. And then moments later, Jakar is going to kill his ass. But he had that last moment of peace, of happiness, of laughter, telling that tale, being with children, wanting to walk on a beach with a beautiful, bald, centauri woman. My God, so good. So well structured and written. I really just can't get over that part. The structure, the writing, the acting. That's what makes Babylon 5 the the amazing sci-fi show that it is and what has made it persist for so long with its fan base because it cannot be matched with the sheer amount of joy it brings to its fans hopefully you enjoyed this reaction if you did continue to come on this journey with me like comment share subscribe patreon link in the description below this is mega signing off